Hey, welcome back to Magic City Entertainment. Hopefully, you guys are doing great today. So, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of God of High School. Let me say, this anime took me by surprise because, okay, I'll admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong about this anime. You know, I had it on my disappointing list of animes to watch, and... I was not disappointed when I watched it. I was not. I was very, very intrigued by it, actually. Um, it, it took me by surprise because I, I wasn't a fan of the animation that much. I'm not saying it's bad animated or anything like that. It's animated good, but I think it could have been better in a way. Um, but overall, great anime. So the story consists of... Basically, you're following three high schoolers that are competing in this, you can call it like a power of tournament in a way. So basically, it's like a, a turn, well, it's a tournament of God of High School, right? And the whole goal is basically, if you win, you get one wish. It's like, it's like um, catching this, uh, all seven Dragon Balls and instead of getting three wishes, you get one. So that's basically what it is. And um, yeah. And then on top of that, there's a whole bunch of side stories. Like um, these people are trying to find a key and everything. So among all that, you know, you're going to have a side story developing as well. And it seems like there's a lot more story that has to develop in the anime. The anime because apparently... Um, they have the webtoon series. So if you read the webtoon series, do you know the show is so much further along than what it is? And from what I heard, they skipped some pretty important stuff from this first season. So yeah, but overall, it is great. The story was wasn't bad. It the only bad thing I did not like about the story was that it's super predictable. You know what's gonna happen, like. It's so obvious, it's not even funny. And I know most enemies, they make it obvious, you know, but this one was pretty obvious from the get go. So, yeah. But overall, it was, I still enjoyed myself watching it, you know. It was only 13 episodes, so it doesn't take that long, honestly. Um, the, um, the fight scenes were great, they were really good, actually. Um, there was this one moment where um, the two main characters were fighting and the art style changed. I was like, huh? I, I, I didn't like it. Um, I was like, why'd you do that? Because it had a lot of stuff going on. Like a lot of stuff going on, right? And then all of a sudden, the animation changed. Why? Like, why would you even do that? You know? And it, was, it wasn't like they did it once. They did it twice. And I was like, they did this again? But for the second time, it was only for a little bit. It was like 20 seconds max. The other one was a good, it was a good minute, you know? And I'm like, why? I just don't like when animes change their style, like in, in a mid fight. This was a mid fight style change. I'm like, wait, why? Why'd you do that? But um, overall, the fighting was good. The characters were very good. Um, Honestly, there wasn't a lot that was wrong with this anime, besides the one thing I nitpicked at was the animation. But overall, this is a good watch, honestly. It's a really good watch. The only bad thing to take away from this the story is super predictable. The animations do change. The only, I've only, it only did it once or twice, that was it. The characters are the great thing about it, honestly. You know, especially the three main characters. They are the best part about this anime. You know, you can get about the rest of the characters. Though, I mean, there are some pretty good characters. Side characters are cool there too. But the three main characters, that's what drives the show forward. And I think without them, no. The, the show wouldn't be as good as it is, honestly. Because the three of them have three. You got three different personalities all on, um, on one screen together. You know, and they're all a team as well. Um... Uh, what else? The ending was it was good. It's a plot twist, not a plot twist. Sorry, uh, a cliffhanger. Um, 
So that's that. Of course, they're going to have a cliffhanger. But a lot of stuff has... a lot. They, actually, a lot of stuff happened in the first season. Like, a lot. Because most of the time, you would build this up over time. Nope. They did all in one season. Like, a lot of stuff happened in the first season. You know, a lot of... A lot of unknown power started to come out. So, yeah. Yeah. And then there's still more to be developed in the second season so you gotta look forward to that but overall this was a good watch honestly i i enjoyed myself watching it i didn't think i would to be honest with you but i did and that's saying something you know they did something right they got they got some type of formula right correct you know but anyway with that being said the review score of god of high school is an eight out of 10 like i said it's it is a great anime to watch i love watching anime and if you're into fight like this this is straight fighting like if you're into straight fighting you have a little bit of story but it's like fighting all the time so this is an anime for you you know um i wasn't a fan too much of the animation but then you guys may be so i highly recommend you guys check it out it's on crunchyroll um it's a crunchyroll original so definitely look into that and if you don't have crunchyroll like you pay for it it's okay there's ads but ads are kind of annoying but if you can get past the ads it's still a great time but anyway i'll catch you guys in the next one peace